Hello everybody. Welcome to Chris's Granite Paradise. Today we are out and about again. My wife and I are actually at our house down near Mexico City. Some of you guys have asked me what kind of rocks are around where we live in Mexico or where we come when we're here. <laughs> we used to live here. Um, the biggest thing that's in our local area is volcanic scoria because they mine it literally a block away from our house. If you walk about a block over, you can jump down into a very deep hole. <laughs> a lot of these are called volcanic bombs. And you can see the fluid features of the lava. Some of these are beautiful. They're kind of surrounded by plants now here in our little bit of a backyard that we that we have. The rock that's on the wall, most of it is quarried in similar places. It, it's also volcanic. Now, some of it's from very near here, some of it's from further away. And over the 30 years that we've been owning this prop, 29 years, um, various stages of construction have gone on. And all the rocks that we left here from back in... Uh, the early 90s when we first lived here are covered and encrusted with cement. That is a beautiful volcanic bomb, but it's just wrecked with concrete. I'm in the process of soaking them in acid, trying to get them cleaned off. This one's sitting in water. But again, you can see the just beautiful. It's just it's just scoria. It's nothing too exotic. So I'm going to try to pause this video and, and walk over to the mine so I could give you an idea what it looks like. Let me see if I could figure out how to do this. Okay, so here we are coming near the mine. I'm just looking back at our neighborhood. If you can see that pink building over there, our house is between us and there. <laughs> I don't, I really can't see what I'm filming because it's very bright out here. But anyway, that's where our house is. And then right here is the mine. Years ago, there was no fence and we'd actually walk around. You could see the road right there coming down into the mine. We'd go down in there with a wheelbarrow and just go rock hunting. But too many people have died in there, so they have it blocked off right now. Well, they've had it blocked off for years. This fence wasn't here. I'm gonna pause this again and see if I can get up to where we can look down. Okay, so here we are. Nowhere near, nowhere near the top yet, but, sorry, I'm out of breath. The elevation here is about down in the town there. 9,000 feet, so I'm a little higher and I'm out of breath. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we lived here in the early 90s. And we would come down that road. I say we, it would be my brothers-in-law and I. They would help me get those big lava bombs I was just showing you. So the stuff that's too big, like that down there, is a tre treasure trove for anybody who's into volcanic uh, volcanic rock, scoria, oh, what do they call it in Hawaii? Pohoho or something like that? The, the lava that looks like ropes and pancake batter half flipped over and all kinds of things you find. Uh, the pieces that are too big, they pile up down there and they're just gorgeous. But this is just an, an old cinder cone volcano. Uh, the name of the locality here is Atlacomulco de Favela in the state of Mexico. And they've been mining, mining this for scoria. This is actually just one small part of the mine. The, the biggest part is over, if you follow that road through the gap there, the whole other side of the mountain is much bigger. But I'm not, I'm not walking over there today. <laughs> anyway, again, there's our neighborhood. The beautiful city over there. Atlacomulco de Favela, Estado de Mexico. <laughs> Again, thank you for watching. 
please like, share, and subscribe. I want you guys to know I had, uh, we had be uh, our beautiful rock collection and some of the things I'm showing you on this trip long before I ever built Granite Paradise. Um, so this is kind of our roots here. And I just wanted to share it with you. Maybe uh, you'll come for a visit down here sometime. <laughs> God bless you. Thanks for watching.